Welcome back guys. In the last video, we looked at this example where we had two points. This is the vertex and one more point. From this, we found that this parabola had four transformation. One is it is flipped over, it has moved to the right, it has gone up, and it was pulled. Okay. Uh, because I was making a guess that it is pulled because it looks fatter than this basic parabola. And I told you the number can be a, uh, would be a decimal. Now, uh, yeah, <clears throat> now this is negative 0 0.5, that is, I'm talking about A. A was 0 0.5. Now, 0 0.5 is same as half. So, this equation can also be written as y is equal to x, or you can put a negative, x minus 5 squared divided by 2 plus 5. So whenever you divide a parabola by a number, the graph becomes flatter. And if you multiply by a number, it becomes thinner or leaner. So that is the four transformation that we saw. Now let us look at a different example here. We want to write the equation of this parabola passing through these three points. Okay, So we don't know which is the vertex or what's what. Okay, None of them. Uh, we can't see the x-intercept, we don't know the y-intercept, we don't know the vertex. We only know three points. And by only three points, now, if you have three points, you can always graph a parabola through three non-collinear points. So these three are not collinear. So there is a graph, I, don't, I can't draw it, but there should be a graph which are passing through these points. Now, in this case, we have to write a different form of a quadratic equation, which is y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. Now, this is, the, in the last example, uh, let me go back to the last example. In the last example, this form is called the vertex form. If you know the parabola, sorry, if you know the vertex, this form is good. But if you don't know the vertex, this is the most general form. Or in other words, this can be converted to this form. Okay? So this is the most general form. So y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b, c are numbers. a, b, c are real numbers. Okay? I'm not going into real numbers. So... When I say real numbers, they are numbers, okay? It can be decimal, it can be fraction, anything other than complex numbers, okay? So let us believe they are real numbers. I'm not going into real numbers now. You will learn real numbers and complex numbers. Or you should have learned real numbers, but you will learn complex numbers when you come to your 13 doing calculus. Okay, so what do we know? So the first point is negative 5, 5, okay? So we know negative phi, phi is a point, negative phi, negative phi is a point, is a point on the parabola, okay, let me write the whole thing, I'll not write, is a point on the parabola, so as we did in the parabola, oh yeah, so I'm going to put x as negative phi, I can put x as negative phi, and y also as negative 5, where we are going to put this in this in this equation. So, I can write minus 5 is equal to a times negative 5 squared plus b times negative 5 plus c. Okay, let me scroll up. So, this is negative 5 is equal to, this is 25a plus minus 5b plus c. So this is one equation, so I'll rewrite this. So this is 25a minus 5b plus c is equal to negative 5. 
Okay, so that is my first equation. And I will say this is equation number one. So if you if you, if you learn simultaneous equation, we have got three unknowns here. We have got A, B, and C. So if you have three unknowns, you have to have three equations. So we'll have simultaneous equations of three unknowns. So this is one equation with three unknowns. So which is the next point? The next point, let me change color only for the sake of, so this is a different point. The next point is, this we have taken care of this point. Let us look at minus 3, minus 2. So I will I can write now, x, when x is minus 3, y is equal to minus 2. Okay, so your first value is always x, your second value is y. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put x as negative 3 and y as 2. So let me scroll up. So minus 2 is equal to a times negative 3 squared plus b times negative 3 plus c. Okay, so this is negative 2 is equal to 9a minus 3b plus c. And this is your second equation. So let me write that. That is 9a minus 3b plus c is equal to minus 2. So this is your second equation. Okay, now let us look at the third. So I hope you can see where am I going. So what should I do the next? Okay, I'll give you one minute for you to think. Which is the third point that you know? I think I should have a timer. Okay, so I presume you should know the third point is 1, negative 4. So I can put x as 1 and y as negative 4. So let us use me, let me use black here. So when x is 1, y is equal to negative 14. Okay, let me confirm. When x is 1, y is negative 14. So I can write negative 14 is equal to a times 1 squared plus b times 1 plus c, which implies a plus b plus c is equal to negative 14. So this is my third equation. Now, after this step, uh, you can use the calculator, but I don't like to use the calculator until you know what we are doing. Okay, so what we're going to do is, uh, I'll continue this in the next video, how to solve, uh, to get A, B, and C. We've got three equations, 25A minus 5B plus C is equal to negative 5. The second equation is this, and this is the third equation. In the next video, I'll show you how to solve this, and I'll also show how to use calculator, graphic calculator, to solve simultaneous equation, and then we will graph this and check whether our answer is right. Okay, see you in the next video. Thank you.